today you're going to be using Seesaw to create your text structure mind map. What you will be doing is creating a text structure mind map following a topic that you have chosen. You will write from each structure based on that topic. To start, first click the green plus arrow at the top of your right hand corner of your screen. Then click the drawing pencil. This will make your um, page show up where you will create your map. You want to first create the topic in the center of your page. Do this by clicking the T or label button at the bottom, which is your text box. Type in your topic, and in this case we'll be using Papa Murphy's Pizza. After you've typed your topic, hit enter which will allow you then to click style at the bottom so you can choose the different font or design that you would like your writing to look like. You also have the option of changing the text color by clicking the, uh, the side color rainbow on the side of the screen. Once you've chosen the topic and the, the color that you would like, you are able to move this object around on your screen. Because this is your topic, you want it in the center of your page. Next, you will create the five text structures around the corners or outsides of your screen. So you will create compare and contrast, cause and effect, Description, Problem Solution, and Sequence. After you've created your titles for each section, you can move your writing where you want it to be placed on the screen. You do need it to fit on the page in order for all of your words to show up um, with your visual. So you may need to use the pinch and zoom features on your iPad to resize your, um, your writing. For the pictures to be, or the topic headings to be able to show up and look different compared to what you're writing underneath each style, you'll also want to make those stand out by picking a different color for each. Next you're going to want to create the description for the writing in that structure underneath each area. In the compare and contrast, I might write something like this. Papa Murphy's pizza needs to be baked at home in your own oven. Now, when you're typing, this will come into a very long line. So after every about three to four words, you want to hit enter so that your writing stays on your screen. Then I want to finish adding what I'm going to say here. So Papa Murphy's pizza needs to be baked at home in your own oven, while Domino's pizza can be delivered right to your home ready to eat. Now notice, what I've typed is very large. So this will definitely need to be resized in a smaller font so that it can fit underneath your compare and contrast topic heading. After you've typed all five of your structures, you will then want to use your pencil um, option to create a line that can connect your web for your map. Once you're finished, you will want to hit the green check arrow in the top right hand corner of your screen. This will allow you to 
upload it to your Seesaw newsfeed. You can definitely always go back and edit your item. So if you don't finish before the hour is over, the next day you can go ahead and find this in your newsfeed and edit your item.